So I am convinced that Balaam was a prophet of the one true God. And Balak sends messengers to obtain his services in cursing the Israelites. Each time he asks, Balaam goes to God and gets his instructions. And up to the point in the story, I have no trouble following what is going on. But then, while he's on his way to King Balak, at God's command, an angel of the Lord tries to kill him. Not once, not twice, but three times. Why? What happened? I'm not quite sure, but it's fairly obvious that somewhere along the line, Balaam decided to sell God out and stop listening to God. And God's not going to bless you if you're not following after his commands. The money and the prestige was just too good to pass up. I suspect that sometime in the night, Balaam decided to play along with God, right up until the moment when he got close to the Israelites, and then he cursed them. He figured God didn't know what he was thinking, so he could fake God out at the last moment. But God knows every heart of us tonight. Of course you can't fake God. That's the belief of fools. In Psalms 139, David speaks to God and says, You have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar off. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord.